Welcome foolish mortals. This week on the Disney Plus project, we watched Disney Parks Sunrise, which is an interesting show. We'd never seen anything about it, um, but it's an interesting show, just like some recordings of the Disney of the Disney Parks. Before we get into that, make sure that if you are not subscribed, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to leave us a like and a comment and let us know what other shows and movies we should watch on Disney+. Plus. So like I said, we, this week we watched Disney Parks Sunrise, which I had randomly come across before, when I was like trying to find something else for us to, to watch. Um, it was before work and I came across this and was like, oh, that looks really interesting. And so there's three episodes to this. I don't know if they're going to make one for Hollywood Studios, but... Um, so there's Magic Kingdom, there's Animal Kingdom, and there's Epcot. And the entire idea of this is that they set up some cameras, some high quality cameras, at different places around, we watched the Magic Kingdom one, um, so they set up high quality cameras at different spots around Magic Kingdom, and they recorded the sunrise over Magic Kingdom. And that's literally what this is. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed. Yeah. I, I didn't because I don't read the descriptions or anything of this for the most part. Um, yeah. So I was like Sunrise Disney Park Sunrise. I was kind of hoping that it was like yes, like the sunrise of like the sun coming up over the castle or whatever. But it, it would be like showing like the employees like prepping for the day and things like that. And that like would have been cool. Getting things ready as the mm -hmm. sun's coming up. Because you know that those you guys are... You can see a couple of them scurrying around. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Like, you know these guys are there as the parks, as the sun's coming up in the parks and things yeah, like that. Yeah, there's probably a shift that starts at like 3 or 4 in the morning, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so like, and that's, I would have liked that better. Mm -hmm. I was a little disappointed. I thought it was going to be more, especially because it's, it's an hour long. Mm-hmm. Like I was, it takes a long time for the sun to come up. <laughs> that's what you put the freaking fast forward button on for. Um, no, I just I. Yeah, they probably could have made it like ten minutes instead of. Yeah, I would have just time lapsed that and like, mm -hmm. but for an hour I was expecting like you like seeing like the people in the confectionery like getting things prepped and things. I'm like I don't know. I just. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was a little. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting more, but I didn't read the description, so it's also I on me. Either. I didn't either. So. Yeah, I mean, I didn't necessarily have any expectations going into it. Like when I actually first sat down to watch it while I was at work, that was one of my first thoughts right before I started. I was like, I wonder if it's just going to be a recording of the sunrise. And I looked at, and yep, that's exactly what it was. Um. Yeah. It. I. I think that they should have just time lapsed this. Yeah. Um, it's, it'd be cool to have it just on though, like if you're doing something else, like if you're just, mm -hmm. um, like playing a game or, or like doing a puzzle or something like that. Yeah. Or yeah. like you have family over and like, so you have something like as like a background yeah. noise and so visual. Like if, yeah. If you're one of those people like, like my parents that will generally always have music set up on their, on their TV, they're always playing like Pandora on their TV. Um, it's kind of the same idea because it plays very gentle, relaxing music the whole time. And like birds tweeting and things like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, because they they left the sound in from mm -hmm. um, like they didn't take the sound out. They left the sound in so you can hear like the rushing of the the, the waterfall back by. Oh gosh, I can't even think of where that is now. Um, but they've left the sound from the waterfall in and all the the birds that are flying by. The gulls at one point were flying by, and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So they left all that in. And so, I mean, it, it's also really good as a white noise thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you're sitting down and playing a game, doing a puzzle, something like that, it's it gives you that like nice, gentle, calm atmosphere. And at the same time, like instead of just having some random um, set of um, photo, like you know, of just photos that it's cycling through, then it has you know, a recording of the Disney parks. It would be really cool if you had one of the Samsung frame TVs. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really cool. And just to have that playing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of the intention behind it. It's like I that. Think so. That and like the Zenimation and. Mm -hmm. um, it's meant to be a very calming, like. Dory's Reef Cam. Mm -hmm. 
That, that's, like, I think, the idea behind this. Yeah, like you're, you're not necessarily meant to just sit down and watch it. Not really. I mean, I did. I'm disappointed. I'm not actually. <laughs> yeah, I actually sat down and I, I actually watched the whole thing. But, I mean. I fast forwarded through it. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. It was You would have fallen asleep. Oh, yeah. It was making me so drowsy. It was. Yeah, no. It helped that I was at work while I was doing it. I was too. Oh, did you watch it at work? I thought you watched it when you got home. No, I watched it on my lunch. <laughs> oh. well, and you normally take a nap on your lunch anyway, so you were already tired. Exactly. <laughs> And it was like making me, like my eyes were like, oh man, it was rough. It was rough. <laughs> it was so rough. No, that's... But yeah, so it is really good as something that, to use for a background thing. Yeah. Like, it, like I said, it's not something, and we didn't know this going into it, but it's not something that's intended to be a standalone, just be, like... be watched. Like, even though I did, I know that it was something that's not intended to be watched. But for me, like, because I was, you know, awake th through the whole thing and able to, like, actually pay attention, like, because, I think also because of, partially because of the calming music and everything, and just watching the sunrise over the, over the parks, it just made me miss the parks that much more. Yeah, I was also a little afraid that if I, like, really dug into it and, like, sat and watched it, that you I would have started crying. crying. Yeah. I, I started tearing up. <sighs> I'm I did. sorry. You're not even pregnant. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Yeah, no, I definitely started tearing up because it was like, it shows some front view and it switches. So it shows like front views of the castle and then it'll show um, a view kind of like through, like next to one of the towers. And then it shows view from the side of the castle over towards um, Adventureland, Liberty Square, like towards that area. Mm -hmm. And then it'll shoot, a th it, I think it did a couple of times go behind the castle. It, it did several mm -hmm. different shots. There was several different areas that it was shooting from. I mean, it was only a set like eight locations or mm -hmm. something like that but that they was, were shooting from yeah that they were just flipping between but no i i still really really enjoyed it but yeah like i said and i'm honestly i might end up watching the other two as well especially the epcot one <laughs> like not necessarily watch the whole thing but just to to kind of look at the um at the the park before before sunrise and like see it the different see it from the different angles mm. and stuff like that so next week we'll be watching Disneyland Around the Seasons, Walt Disney's, you know, movie that he made about Disneyland. I don't know if he was, I don't remember if he was like talking about making Disneyland. I don't, I don't I, remember what he was doing I with this so one. I so briefly looked at the like description of it, so. Yeah, well, and it's from 1966, so it's like, you know, it's not something we've been exposed to really up to this point. Right. So we're pretty excited to see that one because, mm -hmm. you know, anything about the Disney parks we're really into. <laughs> so. But yeah, that's what we got for next week. So thank you all for joining us this week, and we hope to see you all again next week. But until then, don't forget to, to thank, thank the, the Phoenicians. Phoenicians.